Lucinda, Big River, what a superstar, especially at Kelso. Oh, he's just amazing. And uh, his eighth win there, he just loves the track. And it's funny because he seems to be getting better and better as he gets older. Um, he's had a f got a few aims. He, he was aimed at the Midlands National, but I think having be equaled the course record of eight wins, I think he might go back to Kelso um, either at the start of March or towards the end of March. So that would probably rule out the uh, Midlands National. If yeah. he did that, then he'd go to the, have an entry in the Scottish National. He has got form elsewhere. I, I remember him winning, uh, running rather, a big race at Cheltenham one day. Yeah, he has. He he's, was fourth in the Ultima um, a couple of years ago, um, but he just seems to be better better than ever at, at Kelsey. Derek gets on with him so well too, and he, he won the Borders National over four miles, and he, he drops back in trip the other day, and fence is omitted, and he still wins. Yeah, I think the fence is omitted was the thing that really surprised me, that he seemed to um, relish that and just come up the straight with his ears pricked. So, um, yeah, no, it's great, and hopefully he'll go back there and, and can beat the course record. He's just a marvellous horse. He's he's had a few hold-ups in his career, um, he's on and off, but... He's a 12-year-old now and he still seems as good as ever and no, it was just re re very satisfying to, for him to go and win the Borders National and, and to back it up again then with a winner the other day, but he, he's, he's just a marvellous horse. He can get occasionally outpaced like he did in the Borders National and gets his second win. He, he, the last Kelso win, back in trip with the fences out, he seemed to, he, he seemed to show a bit more speed. Yeah, no, he, um, he, he just, through the middle part of a race, he can, he, he just... He, he can just drop the bridle a wee bit, but I think he just gets a wee bit, you know, he's just the one speed, and even though he's not that quick, I think it suits him to come from off the pace, and he, I think he enjoys passing horses as well, but no, um, no, he, 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 he's, just, he's just been a marvellous horse, and he's been great over the years. I was quite emotional when Big River won at Kelso yeah. the other day. Um, it, it, well, the eighth time. The eighth time he's won at Kelso, which, you know, it's... I tell you, you know, the reason he's done it is that Colin and Debs have been so loyal to us and, and allowed us to do uh, the things with him. And I've, you know, I wanted to run him um, at Warwick, but Debs said, no, let's go to Kelso with him. And it, he's almost like a, in foot, yeah, a football player who couldn't quite make it into the international stage, but he's been magnificent at club level. Yeah. And uh, he, he, he's done Good, that. Solid professional. An absolute professional. And I look at him, you know, I'd, again, we talk about the staff. Erin, who rides him, she's no need for her to come in. She's, she just comes in because she loves to be involved and she loves that horse. And it's about the only horse she rides now, unless we get very short. But for some reason, she's got him happier this year. I mean, I think he's in less pain. I don't think he's been. It, He's in any pain. He hasn't been the most straightforward horse. He's had um, atrial fibrillation and he's, he's had stress fractures in his front legs. So um, he's done remarkably well. And I think that, well, so have the vets and so have the whole team here have done, done well to keep him going till 12 years old. And what's this story about Big River and, and Jamie in the iPod? Yeah, so not only has he physically had a few issues, but he used to get himself really wound up at the races. And I don't know if anyone notices that actually he's, he's the one horse that we never plat at the races. Um, but yeah, no, in the stables he gets, gets very wound up and he, he rears and box walks and runs around. So Jamie decided to start playing in music. So she has a special uh, sort of set, uh, set of music that she plays him. To just to drown out the, the noise of racing and um, he gets it at home as well just to just to keep him relaxed. And of course the Debs Thompson association with the two black labs and the colours, it's just everyone attracts even more to Big River. Yeah, it's fantastic. She's just bought herself a little uh, Cairn Terrier, so I was discussing at Kelso that maybe the Cairn Terrier should have a horse as well, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if that'll happen or not. But it's, it's great and it keeps the, keeps the public's imagination, it's great.